What's up guys, Spin Farms here and a lot of questions that I've been asked lately are how do I carry, what holsters do I use, how do I do it, how do I base it off the activity, and just what I should get. And my answer is if you have one main carry firearm, buy multiple holsters. That way you're good with that firearm, you train with that firearm the most, and it's very versatile. For instance, right now I'm about to go on a walk, it's going to be two to three hours. I'm not going to wear jeans, I'm not going to wear a gun belt. That's super uncomfortable walking for two, three hours. You're going to be chafing, you're going to be sweating, stuff like that. I'm also not going to wear cargo shorts. I'm going to be comfortable. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, and then I'm going to carry base off that. So in something like this where I'm just going on a walk, I'm going to be active, going to the park, stuff like that. It's very easy, right? Belt the side of your holster right there. You can't even see I have a firearm on me. It tucks in really well. This is from Blacksmith Tactical. You can always use code SPN for 10% off. And what I do is I tighten this drawstring as tight as possible and then I slip my holster in. All shorts and gym shorts have a little bit of elast elasticity to them. Therefore, if you tighten it all the way, as tight as you can, it'll still be able to fold out a little bit, and that's when you slip your Alta clip or your fabric clip or whatever you have over that. Another way is pocket carry, right? So I have a pocket holster right here, a Kydex pocket holster. I'm done with the um, just the trigger guard holsters and stuff like that. I'm going with the full Kydex, just like a normal holster makes me feel better, especially when I'm with my kids and being active and stuff like that. makes me feel a whole lot better. But anyways, that's another way to carry. In these pants though, I'm not going to carry like this, and here's why. You have to carry based off your outfit, right? And so if I pick this outfit out, but these pockets aren't as deep, and these pockets are a little more slippery, I guess you could say, like the holsters, I can feel bouncing around. If I'm going to be walking all day, I'm just going to feel boom, 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 boom. And it's going to get a little annoying. I don't want that. I want to carry in a way that's going to um, carry based off my lifestyle. So if I'm walking, I don't want to be boom, boom, boom. Or if my kid goes to hug me and they smack their head on the gun. You know, that type of thing. So I simply like carrying inside the waistband for when I'm active with a belt inside of UB and a light fire. But let's say I'm going out. Let's say I'm going to the mall, um, going to get dinner, stuff like that. That's Glock 26. That's Glock 27. That's Smith & Wesson Subcompact 2.0. That's firearms like that. Right now is my SIG P365, CZ P10M, um, you know, Diamondback DV9, and I even do a Diamondback DV9 Gen 4 in my pocket with a Ruger LCP Max in my pocket, but these pants just don't fit that. So what I say to people is have multiple options for your carry firearms. Get multiple holsters, that way you're never worried about what you're wearing. You can always adapt to it, and that's how I live. A lot of other gun tubers, nothing against them, nothing against how they live, but they're always walking around in jeans, cargo pants, big belt, you know, big full size, or, you know, that's just not how I choose to live. I do things a little differently. I'm probably a little more active, stuff like that. So this is how I choose to carry. And never once have I ever felt like I'm at a disadvantage. I've never felt like I couldn't get shots off. I've never felt like I'm not proficient with that firearm. I never felt like any way that I'm carrying, I couldn't get to my firearm when I need it and fast. But just remember this, if you are gonna pocket carry, get a good pocket holster and practice. Because there's certain situations where you're going to need your firearm and it might not latch properly. The whole pocket carry system is based off it latching and you pushing off. So you have to train that way. you got to push and latch, right? It's very simple. I have lots of videos of me doing it full speed, stuff like that. Very easy. It's a great way to carry, but just in these being looser and baggier, I'm not going to pocket carry. I'm simply going to go here and there's going to be no movement in this firearm at all. Movement. No movement. Like I could literally do whatever I want. I could play with my kids. I can run around and there's gonna be no movement. It literally just stays tucked. Just make sure your undershirts, right? Whether it's a tank top and a t-shirt, make sure those are tucked behind if you have something over that. So for me, I just have a tank top and a t-shirt right now. So I tuck the tank top and then just put the t-shirt over. That way you have less stuff getting in the way of a draw. But let's say you're wearing a tank top, a t-shirt and a long sleeve tuck the t-shirt in your pants as well just so it's one layer of clothing to draw very simple but anyways yeah that's how i carry based off my lifestyle you guys should too